You know, Harry, we're over here at the Jägermeister workbench, and certainly Hummingbird knows about going off the deep end. And I want to tell you, this segment is about catching groupers, and you got to go deep sometimes. So tell me what you, we got to do gotta, to catch well, them. All right, one of my this is something I grew up pretty much with, uh, Rick. We used to use like a eight ounce, four ounce feather, and it's kind of this is just a little bit of a, a better technique now. It's a 16 ounce lead. Right and it's a tie-on skirt. So you can take these skirts off and on. You can change colors with them. You can do whatever you want. Now this particular rig, we used to use big old strips on them. You still can, but what we do with this rig here, as you can see, we have two double strength hooks because with groupers, I mean, I call them gunnel shakers because when they hit with this rig here, lock down, that drag as tight as you can. When you're on the troll, you're going to have a ballyhoo tied to this here with this copper wire, and which is going to be around the nose. Right. And you're going to take the back of the ballyhoo, scrape him out, the, on the back side and then cut right down the back of the ballyhoo and you're going to take these two hooks and just go right inside so these will come out through the belly of got the ballyhoo. It. Got it. And you want to use bigger ballyhoo. You want to use your like your horse, your horse ballyhoos or your, your select bally ballyhoos. Those work also. But that's what you're going to want to use with something like this. What's great about the strips is, you, you know, when you get a bite, you can keep on going. If you're on a ballyhoo and you see that thing get hit, you got to bring it in and change it. But this Obviously, the cool part about, <laughs> at least this is the way I see it, when you're grouper fishing and you're trolling, that fish is immediately on. Now, oh, whether it's, right. you know, this heavy lure or it's like this Rapala, mm -hmm. you know, Mag uh, right. X-Rap 20 right. or even the 30, the right. key is it's immediately hooked. Right. When they, when they grab something like that, what, what's great about trolling, mm -hmm. you're covering ground, number one. You could be on a reef patch that has, absolutely has nothing on it. And then you go another mile, two miles down the line, it could be just loaded with fish, loaded with bait. And when you have something like this here, going across that reef, those groupers are looking up and they come out of that hole and they just blast these things. And it's, it's, a, it's a good bite, it's, it's a lot of fun. And normally you'll use a tighter drag, you're gonna use a heavy leader, I use a 100 to 150 pound test mono leader. Right. You know, if you're gonna get your kudas and your mackerel, sometimes we'll cut it off, but that's part of the fun, good for me. But Normally the lures all get hit from the, you know, from the back. They come up and swim up and grab it from behind. So no. now de different depths. You got the 30, 30 range. If you're getting the gags in the bay, like we're doing a lot now, and we'll use the smaller guy right here. That guy goes down 10 feet. And those little gags that we get out in the bay here, they're you know, eight pounds, 15 pound gags. And that's, that's a pretty good size gag for the bay. And there's tons of them. So now this, let me this quickly. Is, is there incredible. any specific colors that you like, Harry, over uh, others? I, think, I see you got orange here. Oh, in both. Orange. I've had luck with. It. To me, you got to have one of every color. Right? All right. <laughs> so we're going to talk a little bit about this in our conservation minute. But mm -hmm. I want to talk. Tell me about this equalizer quickly. Okay. This thing is. It's a great technique. You're going to. You adjust it. You put it on his lips, on the grouper or snapper, whatever you got. You pinch it down. You adjust right here your tension. 50 feet. Then you push it in. You go down to 100 feet and you turn it, right. or you go into to 150 feet and turn it. And at those depths, when it, when it drops down, it's automatically, it's gonna go boom and release the fish. So there's no more jabbing, stabbing the fish or anything like that. So what we do guys, just to be clear on this, this goes in the bottom lip. If you catch this grouper and he's blown up, you put this in the bottom lip of the grouper. Yep. Now the heavy weight takes him down. As you're dropping this down on a three-way swivel, fish the swivel's going like this, his gills are open, so you're resuscitating him, which you'll see in yep. our conservation minute, this clip off the underwater footage that we, you yep. guys provided us. And then what ends up happening is when you get to the set depth, 50 feet, 100 feet, or 150 feet, it's gonna pop off. It's gonna pop Just off, like that. fish goes right back to the reef, he lives, and catch him for another he's day. He's been put into a decompression and, and chamber, gonna, so to speak, exactly. a return back to the water the leads, depth that he was caught. The lead you're gonna change different. According, you could be a five pound lead, it could be a 10 pound, depending on the size of the fish. Harry, very informative. I can't awesome. wait to get over here to talk about uh, the new products and all the Mother's fish. Day special stuff Ooh, we, got we got going on. We got a lot of good on. stuff for mom. 